Let's solve problem 6.17 for Microelectronic Circuits 8th edition by Sedrin Smith. So we're going to use the NPN transistor model in this figure to consider the case of a transistor for which the base is connected to ground, collector is connected to a 3 volt DC source through a 2 kilo ohm resistor, and a 1 milliamp current source is connected to the emitter with the polarity so that the current is drawn out of the emitter terminal. So let's start drawing this. So the collector, we have a 3 volt DC source through a 2 kilo ohm resistor. We have our collector terminal. This will be the voltage of the collector. We have this dependent current source, just showing that the collector current is equal to alpha times the emitter current. Then base is just connected to ground. So we have the base terminal, base current, and we are just connected to ground. Okay, then we have a one milliamp current source and the polarity is such that the current is drawn out of the emitter terminal. So what that means is we're gonna have the diode first This is the meter diode. We're going to have the voltage at the emitter right there. And then it's coming, current is coming out of the meter terminal like that. Okay, and then we're given beta is equal to 100 and I sub S is equal to 5 times 10 to the negative 15 amps. So first we want to find the voltages at the emitter and the collector. So I'm going to start solving for things that I know I can solve. So I know I can solve for alpha is equal to beta divided by beta plus 1. So that's 100 divided by 101, which is 0 0.99 approximately. So given that, I can solve for my current here across the diode. So ISE is equal to IS divided by alpha. So that's five times 10 to the negative 15 amps divided by 0 0.99. So that will be equal to 5.05 .05 times 10 to the negative 15 amps. Okay. Now I know my voltage at the emitter will just be equal to the voltage across the diode because my base is grounded. So VE will just be equal to the voltage across diode, VDE, sorry. So that will be equal to the negative value of the voltage across the diode, which is the thermal voltage times the natural log of the emitter current divided by the current from the diode property. So the thermal voltage will be negative 0 0.025 volts times the natural log of emitter current, 1 milliamp, divided by 5.05 .05 times 10 to the negative 15 amps. So I get the emitter voltage is a negative 0 0.65 volts. And we can solve the collector voltage pretty easily by taking three volts and subtracting uh, the collector current times two kilo ohms, which is equal to three volts minus the collector current can be expressed as alpha times the emitter current times two kilo ohms. So it is equal to three volts uh, minus alpha, which is 0 0.99. Emitter current is one milliamp multiplied by two kilo ohms. So I get a collector voltage of 1.02 volts. Okay, and 
And lastly, we want to calculate the base current. Base current can be calculated by taking the collector current and dividing it by beta. And once again, the collector current is just alpha times the emitter current divided by beta. So the base current will be 0 0.99 times 1 milliamp divided by 100 for beta. So I get a base current of 0 point or excuse me, 9.9 microamps, it's very small. And that solves the problem. Thank you for watching my video. For any comments or video suggestions, feel free to reach me in the comment section or by my email. Thank you and have a great day.